My twin sister, 60 female, recently found out that her husband, 62 male, of 40 years is cheating on her with. Their daughter-in-law who has been married to their eldest son, who is currently deployed in Germany, for almost seven years. Folks, from the bottom of my heart, I wish this were some bad plot out of a movie on Lifetime, which my son has compared this ordeal to, instead of having to watch my identical twin sister leave this nightmare, because it would be far easier than having to accept that the guy who swept my sister off her feet during our freshman year in college in 1976 has now destroyed their, perfect family. Not only am I beyond devastated for my sister and my two nephews and a niece, but my 30-year-old son, and only child, has looked up to my brother-in-law all his life and viewed him as a father figure since his own dad died unexpectedly while I was still pregnant with him. I was always thankful that my brother-in-law treated my son like he were one of his own and was always there no matter what. Because of the bond my sister and I share and having been inseparable while growing up. However, I have virtually lost my appetite and hardly slept since she broke the news to me and showed me the text messages she had found on her husband's burner phone which he had mistakenly left behind at home on Wednesday. My sister is broken and can barely function, and my niece, their youngest child, is due to graduate with a PhD next week and she is taking the news really badly. To the outside world, my sister and her husband have always been the quintessential soulmates while living the life, and their 40th anniversary dinner party at their beautiful home in late March had recently reinforced this image in everyone's minds. I am still at a loss for words with having to reconcile the man I thought I knew, a loving husband, father, grandfather, uncle, dedicated surgeon, and an upstanding member of the community. With someone who threw all of that out the window by not just cheating on the woman who was there from the very beginning, but with none other than his son's wife. It is shameful and disgusting. Worst of all, my sister told me that when she confronted my brother-in-law about the affair, he responded with, I don't know, when the question of if he's in love with his son's wife after confessing. I can't even begin to imagine how that must have felt to hear the man you've loved for almost your entire life tell you that he is unsure as to whether or not he loves another woman who he's evidently been sleeping with. According to him, the affair has been apparently going on for three months, but while my sister isn't buying the timeline, she hasn't even gotten around to even asking herself if either of the grandkids, a boy and a girl, both toddlers, could actually be her husbands. Personally, however, I dread the near possibility. My nephew is a high achiever like his father but also a principled young man who has always been selfless and he deserves so much better than having the person whom he looks up to most in this world, inflict damage of unprecedented proportions. He doesn't know as yet, obviously, but I don't even want to entertain the thought of him finding out in my head just yet. What I wouldn't give to take all of the pain away from my sister and her kids because this is something that is going to have lasting consequences throughout their lives. I am a 60-year-old woman who is beside herself, and currently oscillating between sadness and anger over my brother-in-law breaking my sister and nephew's heart into a million pieces and destroying their family, and just had to vent under a pseudonym. An update. As a close-knit family, we have been in a constant state of misery for the past four months ever since we found out about my brother-in-law's double life, revealed in lurid text messages between him and his son's wife, and complete disregard for those who love and thought the world of him. My nephew, who is still deployed in Germany and wasn't due to be back home until Christmas, recently found out about his father and wife's affair. My niece and younger nephew had traveled to Europe last week to break the devastating news. And he is, naturally, heartbroken beyond belief. My sister just couldn't bring herself to be the one who told her son. Period. This is a woman who was also taken to the ER for heart palpitations soon after finding out. My sister and her other kids had toyed back and forth for weeks on end as to how they were going to finally notify him, and the psychological torture that could ensue from withholding the information any longer, before finally settling on telling him face to face. My nephew is embarrassed, insanely furious and devastated, and recently put in a request for emergency leave, citing concerns for the well-being of his children as it moves up through COC. He is hopeful that it would be granted. As far as I know, he has turned down every one of his father and wife's calls and ignored emails since finding out. Why any decent human being would do this to their son and husband defies logic. As for my sister's husband, however, 
he has shown very little remorse towards her and had the gall to tell her that if it wasn't his son's wife, it would have been someone else. In other words, it was bound to happen. A blind person can see that he's blaming my sister for him straying outside of their marriage. In those text messages, among other things, my sister discovered that her daughter-in-law is in love with her husband and they were having sex just about every other day. Yes, even on those days when he is scheduled to perform surgery. Often with her telling him how great the sex is, using graphic language. I nearly threw up when I read it for myself. The grandkids were at their house every day after preschool, they are two and three, respectively, and spent several weekends with them too. When my sister demanded to know when exactly this affair began, my brother-in-law said that it was earlier this year, which is in and around the time my nephew was deployed, but my sister has this nagging feeling that it's been going on for much longer than that, given the constant contact between her daughter-in-law and husband. She confronted her daughter-in-law, not long afterwards, and was told by the latter that she's deeply sorry. Never meant for it to happen but still begged for her not to tell her husband just yet, whom she said she still loves. Uck. My sister has not spoken to her since June and hasn't seen the grandkids in a while. This breaks her heart. My younger nephew, who lives in New York City, and also looked up to his father, is still having a tough time coming to terms with reality. And my equally livid niece, who was due to commence a postdoc in California this fall, has changed her mind and taken up a fellowship closer to home so she can check in on her mom. Even many months later, I am still at a loss for words as to how a man who has always been a great father and husband could possibly do this but here we are. My brother-in-law has since moved out of the house and continues to see his son's wife. This is our reality now. My sister is slowly preparing herself for a divorce, which is going to be long and drawn out, because there is no prenup, and has since enrolled in therapy as she picks up the pieces of her life after 40 years. My, 55 female, daughter-in-law, 29 female, has been secretly sleeping with my husband's son, 18 male, for the past three months while my son is working out of state. My daughter-in-law has been staying with us while my son is abroad. So anyway, I came home to see if my stepson, Kyle, was in his room, 20 minutes ago, and seeing where he was at. I went to his room to see if he was asleep and walked in on him and my daughter-in-law, whom I've known since she was five years old, having sex. My mouth dropped. Now I am stuck in between a rock. They begged me not to tell James, my son. After I caught my breath, I got it out of them how long this has been going on. She said nine months. Nine months this been going on. My stepson cried, he's not the toughest 18-year-old, saying. I'm sorry and I never had a girlfriend before and I couldn't help it. My daughter-in-law begged me to the point where she had tears, telling me not to tell my son because of his temper and low self-esteem will make it hard. It's just not right and I would feel wrong if I didn't give my son a clue about his wife and brother cause he's my biological son and I love him to death, but I know he'll get emotionally unstable. I also love Kyle just as much like a son. I am caught in between a rock like I said and I need to know what to do. Should I tell my son or keep it from him and don't rat my daughter-in-law and my stepson out, as knowing about this while abroad will distract him from work. My husband is at work, and my first and now deceased husband, son's dad, is 12 years dead I haven t told my now current husband as of yet. P.S. My son and my daughter-in-law have only been married three years and he's not even in the state for another month. This is crazy. my father and my wife. I am heartbroken and need advice badly. And yes I will seek professional help in time but need to get it off my chest first. I am a happily married 35 year old man. My wife is 34 and the mother to my two daughters, 6, 3. We are both from the same hometown and dated in high school. High school sweethearts, if you will. We ended up going to the same college, dated throughout, got engaged, and married after both of us graduated. Fairly tale type stuff for some people. My father was always a good father to me and my sister. He was angry a lot and drank too much but he loved us both dearly and never harmed us. He was, however, a regular cheater on my mother, especially about 13 to 14 years ago when I was 22 and my wife was 21. At that time, my mother and he hit a really rough patch in their marriage, were separated several times. At that time, 
he almost lost all he had ever worked for in his business thanks to a very crooked business partner who took him to the woodshed financially and made life hell, legal issues, etc. etc. My mother, who is an angel, struggled to support him emotionally during this time because he was angry a lot, drank a lot, and was verbally abusive frequently. He began running around her. She found out and was devastated but forgave him. He did it again not long after. She found out again and was even more devastated. They separated again but eventually worked it out. I suspect there were a lot more than two times but I know of two and, to my knowledge, my mother only knows of the two times. During this season, my, future, wife-to-be was with me at college. One summer, she returned home to take some classes at our hometown community college, she could earn credit there and it counts towards her degree and it was cheaper to do that during summers and stay at her parents' house to save money. I was a year older and advanced enough in my degree that I stayed at our college and took my course load there. My dad had lost one of his receptionists and mentioned to me that my wife could work for him and make some money. I relayed that to her and she was glad to have the job because it would be flexible with her schedule and she could pocket some cash. All was well. After we got married, my wife indicated to me that she wasn't really comfortable around my dad. She said she just didn't trust him and referenced his infidelity multiple times. I didn't really understand at the time but I agreed with her that he was really crappy for what he did to my mother. I understood why he did it, emotionally insecure, but the fact that it was a repeat offense on multiple occasions made me really hate him. But if my mom could forgive him, so could I. Right? When my first daughter was born, my wife indicated she wasn't comfortable with her staying with my dad one-on-one. -on -one. As long as my mom was present, she was okay with it, but not alone. This was odd. My dad was a cheater but he's not a creep. After I pressed my wife, which took quite some time, she finally opened up that my dad was overly flirtatious with her when she worked for him those years ago. I was pissed off at him but she said that she over it but that his attitude towards her during that summer, while she worked for him, made her distrust him immensely. I shared this with no one. I wanted to confront him about it but he almost certainly would have denied it which would have hurt me, since I know my wife was not lying, it would have hurt her, since she'd emotionally moved on. And had it gotten to my mother, it would have devastated her to know that my wife and I weren't trusting our grandchildren around them, because her husband slash my dad was hitting on my wife all those years before. For many years, I actively encouraged her to go to counseling but she constantly rebuffed and, over time, the subject was dropped and we never discussed it again. This past weekend, my wife and I celebrated our 11-year anniversary. We went out for dinner and then drinks. When she had drank a lot too much one night, it all came out for the first time. My father had not just been overly flirtatious, he was sexual. She admitted that, while she was working with him, he increasingly went from flirting with her, then got huggy slash kissy, then got touchy slash feely. And then, eventually, she let him finger her. He just reached in my pants and it kind of happened. Were her exact words. Over the next few weeks, he would periodically continue his advances. She rebuffed most of the time, trying to get out of the situation. But several times, he asked her to work late or to visit his office when he knew no one would be around. Come to find out, a few of those times, he called her into the office and closed the door and got touchy slash feely. She was uncomfortable but admitted that she never told him no. She said. This is wrong. Several times but never got up and left. She just didn't know how to handle the situation. On one occasion, he began taking off her pants and proceeded to give her oral. On another occasion, he presented himself to her and put her hand on his junk and she proceeded to give him oral too. On the last occasion, they were both fully naked and he was pressuring her to have the actual act. She remains 100% adamant that they did not. He almost put it in, were her exact words. When she said she didn't want to do that, he asked why. She said because, it would be wrong to, me. He persisted and when she told him she wasn't on birth control, he said. If you got pregnant, just sleep with my son, me, and tell him it's his. Scared and angry at all of this, she finally had enough. Got dressed, left, and quit the job. I am heartbroken, confused, angry, and in a total what the f stage. I can't eat. I can't sleep. I've had a lot of anger towards my dad for years and years for what he did to my mom and the idea that he hit on my wife many times while she worked for him. 
How messed up is that? To hit on your son's girlfriend? But I now know the whole story. That my father actively pursued my girlfriend. That he put her in awkward sexual situations in which she didn't know how to respond. And that it resulted in sexual activities which occurred multiple times. My wife never said a word out, during or after, out of fear of endangering my relationship with her, our family dynamic, etc. Knowing my father, I believe my wife. I know too much about my dad's history as a womanizer, a cheat, and as someone who put people in sexually awkward situations to distrust what she's saying. What she's describing, I can definitely see happening. It's far worse, but not completely out of character, with other things I know he's done. But this takes to it a much different level. What? The? Hell? I want to never see my father again and want to physically harm him. My wife says that it's taken a lot of years but she really has 100% moved on emotionally and she doesn't want to open old wounds. In the meantime, I hate my father. I would also be lying if I didn't say I confused by my wife's actions. I feel enormously guilty when I feel some negative emotion towards her because she was a victim. Combine the awkwardness of being 21, a man 30 years older, your boyfriend's father and your boss, being extremely persistent, and the man being someone you should have been able to trust to help you, not hurt you, and it just led into a really bad situation. But I suppose, deep down, if I'm really honest with myself, I'm also confused. Mostly by the fact that this happened so many times and had escalated over time. My wife has always been a very strong, independent person. She is not afraid to stand up to people at all. It is not like her, even when she was that age, to succumb to pressure like that. I'm trying really hard not to victim blame and immediately feel guilty when I think that way, but, again, knowing my wife how I know her, as someone that's not afraid to call BS, it just makes it hard to conceive how she went along with it for so long, knowing that it made her uncomfortable, knowing that it was escalating, and then it was actually happening and her not saying no. I just can't believe these things happened on repeated occasions. I can absolutely see him pressuring her once, her not knowing how to respond when it happened, and then her saying, this is BS. I'm out, afterwards. But that she stuck around and let it happen multiple times just seems odd to me. That's where this weird feeling of infidelity sneaks in. But I then feel horrible. Like I'm blaming her when he was clearly the aggressor. She absolutely doesn't want me to bring it up to anyone ever. She knows, and is correct, that my dad would deny, lie, and deflect. It would cause a long dormant situation to erupt, causing massive family relation casualties, and potentially having marriage implications as well. She'd simply prefer that we limit our family's time around him. And she is absolutely right on all counts. But I, admittedly, begin to question if she doesn't want me to bring it up because there is something she is afraid to tell me that could come out. I wouldn't say that to her of course. But it is a little demon in my head. I have no idea of how to handle all of this. My poor wife has endured this secret, shame, guilt, etc., for 13 plus years. I am very upset, sad, furious at my father, etc., about all of this. It's still very raw and fresh to me. She talks about it very calmly with little emotions. I admittedly don't understand why she doesn't appear more traumatized when she speaks of it. She brushes it off like it's nothing and goes about her other conversations. Changes the subject more quickly than I could. She hasn't cried when we've talked about and I'm like a sobbing baby. Maybe someone that can relate can help me understand. Has she just buried it that deep? I just figured that, as horrible as those situations were, there would be a flood of emotions about finally getting it out there and she's not that way. I have to wonder if there is some guilt there that maybe she feels from not ending it sooner. Maybe she was a little more complicit than she's portrayed. I'm probably reading too much into her reaction as all people process differently and we are at different stages of processing. Lastly, and maybe someone here can help me with this. Since this came out, she has been overly sexual with me. I don't tell her this but it kinda pisses me off. It would seem getting this out there would be a huge turnoff for her, it certainly is for me, so why is she acting that way? Again, I don't tell her this but it's almost as if she's trying to account for infidelity. Except she wasn't. She was abused. I'm just trying to solve this in my head. My emotions are a wreck. I'll definitely reach out to a therapist soon but could use some help in the meantime. Thanks.